the joking about the national championship aside, I mean, do you sense any more excitement, anticipation from the guys? Uh, you know, the I don't know about? if it's the national championship. I don't think it's the national championship. I think it's just, I think they're excited about they look around and they see that we got a chance to be pretty good. Everybody does what they're supposed to do. And I'm excited about that. But you, you really have to earn. You just got to earn the right to be, just to be good. We got a lot of work to do just to be a good team. All that other stuff, we just, it's too much to uh, digest. It's just, Break it down into one moment at a time. Focus on the moment. Defensive ends a spot where I guess this time last year it was almost like starting over. I guess with Charles Johnson and Quentin Moses going, um, with a guy like Marcus who came on strong right. and then left. I mean, is there a sense that some starting over? But I mean, obviously you no, rotated well, a, a lot, lot against I mean, Hawaii. Yeah, a lot of guys played. Lomax played. Battle started every game. Uh, Win got a lot of work there. Uh, who else got work out there? Does. Dobbs got work, Lemon got work, and now um, uh, Neyland Ball is, you know, getting, you know, a little bit more work. Um, I think we'll have plenty in that position. To, you know, and I mean, you know, hopefully one or two guys decide to really step up. But if they all step up, we'll, we'll roll them around. We'll do it by committee. I don't, I don't mind that. I, I like it better. I like it better when more guys play. Did uh, <coughs> get as much out of his redshirt year as did No. Sean a year ago to put him in position uh, to contribute? I would think. To contribute. You know, he did a good job of keeping his mind in it. And of course, that one time midseason, we really thought about playing him in that Florida game. I think it was. He had he had two weeks of real serious uh, preparation, and we decided not to play him. But but that that'll perk you up in the middle of a redshirt year, you know. Um, so he got a lot of work at that time. And, I think the rest of the year we kept kept him roll, you know, rolling in there with the varsity, um, just in, just in case, you know. But uh, he looked he looked he looked good today. I mean, it's just shorts and no one's hitting anybody. But you know, just seeing his change of direction and and uh, watching him kind of feel where the running lanes are and watching him be able to go get it when it's there. I mean, it was it's pretty impressive to see him do that. He's. On paper, similar sizes as, as No Sean. What will distinguish him? Him on the field, do you think? You know, I saw enough of him. He he has. Um, I, I he's quicker, I think, right now than he was a year ago. I might be wrong, but I, I just sense. And maybe it's just, you know, a year ago, a little indecision. Not sure. He seemed more sure of what he was doing, and thus, you know, seemed to move quicker, or maybe he is quicker. He you know, went through the mat drills, and you know, I thought he did a nice job there. All these guys coming off the mat drills are in great shape. They're, they're in great condition. They can change direction. They can really move well. Um, but he's a – I've seen him um, break a lot of tackles. I've seen him uh, kind of uh, – I don't know. I don't know how to describe it other than he'll kind of – Work his way towards his landmark of where he's supposed to be running it, and, and then just then once he sees it, he can dart through it pretty good, and, and he does he does change direction good. Some guys, it is from the, you know the moment the ball snapped, they just goes hard and as fast as they can. They're just going to kind of slam it up in there, and if it's there, it looks good. And if it's not there, they run up run up behind somebody, you know, run into somebody. But uh, he seems to have good patience and good vision, and then the ability to to burst into the the creases, break tackles. He's doing good. With uh, No Sean kind of being a premier back in the country, do you think he's enjoying some of the attention being taken off of him and on to Caleb? Oh, I don't think it bothers him. You know, Caleb's a. I mean, uh, No Sean's a. He's a team guy. He enjoys. It. I mean, he's an encourager. You know, he's he's encouraging the young guys. He's already the veteran. You know. And there's a sophomore, he's the veteran. Hey, who's sophomore? Is it? <laughs> <coughs> Shoots my daughter on you. Hey, Anya. <laughs> I'll call you back, okay? 
I had a feeling it was you, honey. Huh? Yeah, I'm like with about 20 guys that have like <laughs> tape recorders and stuff. Cameras okay. too. And cameras too. You're on camera right now, honey. Smile. <laughs> All right, honey. I'll talk to you later. I'll call you when I'm out of here. Bye bye. Catherine's out of town for 10 days starting today. Actually, for for the rest of the week, so I'm just like, she's lost about a month. Uh, you know, they're good looking athletes, you know, they're certainly trying to figure out what to do, you know, Coach Ball's standing right behind them every play and helping them make sure they know which direction to go, so it's, it's hard to look real good, but the first, one of the first thing running backs learn is their, their landmarks and their ball handling, uh, and so if you can get them to that point, which is not too difficult, um, and then you just let them do their thing, let them run that ball. You know, we'll see once we put the pads on, do inside drill and some of those other things. Um, but then when you do the whole package, they're, they're, they're just lost. And, uh, you know, the passing game, just it's just tough to learn. Did you throw a couple of dab elements out there to make that coach Lilly feel a little no, no, but I did. Well, I don't want to say anything that might come back and bite me, but I think he enjoyed it. I'll say this: I think he enjoyed, um, you know, the sets we used. Uh, at least one tight end of the game at a time, and you know, a lot of times two tight ends in there at the same time. It's kind of nice to know that the position you coach is. Going to get some, uh, you know, they're a big part of the offense. I think he, it's exciting to him. Plus, he's been good in the punt team too, and that was a that was a big day for him. You know, first day uh, meeting and actually working the punt team uh, for 20 minutes. It's his first time doing that. So, punt team means coverage. Well, our, our punt team, the, you know, the the whole thing, punt, uh, the snap, the the punt, the protection, okay. the coverage, everything. He, but know, not the punt return, just the punt. The punt team, when, okay. we, when, we're, when we're on offense and mm -hmm. Dad Gummit had to punt, those guys. Who's handling the kickers? Uh, the kickers? Well, he'll handle them academically. Like, he'll take over where Coach Johnson was. Okay. I can't sit here and say we really got an expert on the technique of punting and the technique of kicking. Except for Eason. He used to punt. Well, yeah, Coach, that's right. Coach Eason, he handles those punters. That's right. Okay. All right. All right.